Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Create HTML Web Galleries in Lightroom Classic CC. To create a web gallery, you must complete 11 broad steps. The first step of creating a web gallery in Lightroom Classic CC is to select the photos to include in it. Like the book and slideshow modules, Lightroom Classic CC creates a default web gallery from the photos in the film strip when you first view the web module. To do this, click Web in the Module Picker to display the web module. You can select different photos to show in the film strip to change the gallery images. You can use any of the methods mentioned in previous lessons to select the photos to show in the film strip, like selecting from the Collections panel or selecting a source from the Film Strip control bar. You can also create a web gallery from only selected photos or from flagged photos by using the Use dropdown in the Web Gallery toolbar. The second step of creating a web gallery is to arrange the order of the photos in the gallery. If you selected a film strip source to which you can apply a custom order, then you can drag and drop photos in the film strip to place them in the order you want within the web gallery. The third step of creating a web gallery is to choose a template for the gallery. To do this, expand the template browser at the left side of the web module and then expand one or more folders so you can review the available templates. When you hover over the name of a template with your mouse cursor, a preview of the layout appears in the preview panel. To select a template, click the name of the template within the template browser. Keep in mind that the Layout Style panel at the right side of the web module highlights the type of layout style for the template you apply. The fourth step of creating a web gallery is to enter website information related to the gallery. You can enter the gallery information into the Site Info panel at the right side of the web module. The options that appear in this panel vary depending on the layout style currently applied in the Layout Style panel. We'll examine these options in a future lesson. The fifth step of creating a web gallery is to customize the look and layout of the gallery. You can specify colors for different elements of a web gallery and adjust the gallery layout. To do this, use the tools in the Color Palette panel and the Appearance panel, which both vary depending on the layout style currently applied in the Layout Style panel. We'll examine these features in a later lesson. The sixth step of creating a web gallery is to add titles and captions to images in the gallery. To do this, choose Metadata Options within the Image Info panel. You can also deselect options if you don't want text displayed with photos in a web gallery. We'll take a closer look at using the Image Info panel later in this chapter. The seventh step of creating a web gallery is to set output image quality and metadata, watermarking, and sharpening. Keep in mind that output sharpening is applied in addition to any sharpening done in the develop module. Although this step isn't necessary, the output settings panel lets you easily perform these tasks. We'll look at using the output settings panel later in this chapter. The eighth step of creating a web gallery is to optionally specify FTP settings for the gallery. To do this, select and or configure an FTP preset in the Upload Settings panel. If desired, you can also specify a subfolder into which to upload the web gallery within this panel. We'll examine using FTP presets and the Upload Settings panel later in this chapter. The ninth step of creating a web gallery is to preview the gallery in a web browser. To do this, click the Preview and Browser button at the bottom of the left panel grouping in the web module. Lightroom Classic CC then launches your default web browser and displays a preview of the gallery. We'll take a closer look at previewing web photo galleries later in this chapter. The tenth step of creating a web gallery is to export or upload the gallery. When you export a file, you save a web gallery to a local or network folder. When you upload a web photo gallery, you send the gallery to a web server. Before uploading, you can specify FTP information in the Upload Settings panel. To export or upload the web gallery, use the Export or Upload buttons at the bottom of the right panel group in the web module. We'll examine saving and uploading web galleries later in this chapter. The final step of creating a web gallery is to save your layout as a custom template and or saving it as a web collection. Although this step is not required, saving your web gallery layout can save time later. 
We'll look at creating custom web gallery templates and saving web collections later in this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.